Kempville has always been a fairly quiet town. It's like a lot of small towns in Ontario. It once had industry and so on, and as the cities around it grew, it lost a lot of that. Most of the people who uh, live here now commute into Ottawa to work. Uh, but it's still got a small town feel to it. It's a nice feel to, that, to have that. Um, I don't think it's uh, anything radically better than any other small town, but it is a way of life that is, I think, worth preserving. northern part of 613. Um, we get all our drinking water from one of two aquifers. These are like big underground rivers or lakes that are below us. They're very, very large. And if you look at the route that TransCanada wants to pipe crude oil through, it goes right through all the rural parts of Ottawa, through right over top of the Oxford aquifer, through wetlands, then crosses over the Rideau River and crosses the, part of the aquifer here in uh, North Grenville. So any leak anywhere along there could affect anybody who gets their water. Well, the corner of North Grenville, where the pipeline goes, is right in the middle of what's called a groundwater recharge area. It's one of the particularly porous areas. About 13% of the water in the whole Oxford Aquifer enters in exactly the area where they're putting the pipeline. So a pipeline spill could be very dangerous to drinking water anywhere in this area. And of course, the bigger it is, the more it can spread. We burned about half of the amount of oil, of carbon that we can burn to avoid runaway climate change, runaway global warming. If we don't stop burning carbon, we will reach the point where we simply can't do anything about it, where the temperature will rise to the point where the changes are out of control, where you get into feedback loops, you, you melt the Arctic so that it no longer reflects light into the, uh, back into the sky so that the oceans heat up so that, and then a cycle starts, you warm the air, that warms the ocean. Basically, because this is the, you know, as, as you know, any number of people have said, you know, this is the only planet we've got. There is no planet B. Um, this is a, uh, if the tar sands are exploited significantly, life on this planet is going to get extraordinarily difficult. And that's something we have to be very concerned about, not just as Canadians or people in Campville, but as humans.